Welcome to C programming tutorial. Um, this tutorial is kind of com continuation of the previous tutorial where I explained the concept of an array. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to do some coding related to arrays. Uh, we will write a program that would do something and before I explain what the program is going to do uh, let me uh, say this again. Uh, if you are uh, uh, if you came here from Facebook, please make sure that you become the fan of the page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. Uh, if you are watching it, you know, if you like YouTube, to watch the videos on YouTube, then please subscribe to this channel, Learnorama. And uh, basically, the reason I'm telling you this is because, you know, this way, if, as soon as I post any new tutorial, you will be notified and you could watch those tutorials. Okay, so let's get started. So le after, after we learned about arrays, which are basically a collection of variables, kind of, you know, with one single name, and you access individual elements using the indices, you know, using the index of the, that element. Uh, so given that, let's write, try to write a program. Suppose that, you know, we have a classroom which has, you know, six students, you know, just, I just picked the number, six students. Um, and we want the, to write a program that will ask for each of the student's age, okay? And then it will print out the average age of the class, okay? So very simple, just ask for the s ages of each of the six students, and then we are going to take the, uh, compute the average of all those ages, okay? So how do we do that? Since we have six same kind of variables or six same kind of fields to store some data which is age okay six different ages we have to store so what do we do we use arrays when this happens what do you do you use arrays okay so let's declare array named age and how many elements it will have six elements okay very simple so let's see what are we going to do next um we are going to ask the user to input okay six ages so how can we do that you could basically write write something like this okay for to for the uh for the element 0 then the same thing for element 1 and the same thing for element 2 okay and the same thing for element 3 we could we could we could do you know ask for individual values we could do that too or if you can see there is a repeated work that we are doing here the only thing which is changing is this variable right here so what do we do we basically use what is called loop because we have to do something repeatedly okay now we can use a loop and how do we use the loop we basically which you loop we want to use do we have to do this fixed number of times the answer is yes we have to get six values of age of children's age right so uh, so we have to do it fixed number of times when some, you have to do something repeatedly fixed number of times best thing to do is to use the for loop and if you don't know about for loop, please go back and, and uh, you know, you will see a link in the, in the description of this video where it will point you to the playlist of all the tutorials in this series and look at, look up the, uh, the for loop tutorial. Okay. So this is how we are do. In for loop, we have an, a counter that we basically initialize to some value. So which would be the first value of that counter so what would be the value first value zero okay and then remember the arrays indices start from zero and they go up to one less than the total number of elements here so here the total number of elements are six okay the total number of elements is six so the indices range from zero to five okay so count is equal to zero and then the condition that for which the for loop will continue to exit, execute, which is basically we want count to go from 0 to th 5, okay? So for count is less than, for as long as count is less than equal to 5, okay? Or you can call 
is less than 6, which is the same as less than or equal to 5, you know. And every time when the loop iterates, when the loop is going to run, we will have to keep incrementing the count by 1, okay. So this is our for loop start. And inside the body of the for loop, what are we going to do? We are going to do this. Do the thing that we have to do repeatedly. And what is that thing? We have to s get the use input from the user. The only difference is that instead of using 0, 1, 2, 3 here, I'm going to use the variable count. So yes, the index of an array could be a variable. So that as the variable changes, you could access the different elements of count so as the, uh, of 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 the array so as the variable count changes from 0 to 1 to 2 to, to 3 you basically are accessing the element age you know age 0 age 1 age 2 age 3 and so on okay so now don't forget to output some message enter age of a student okay person d comma okay sorry yeah person d and then we want to put the id of the student which is the index itself 0 1 2 so it will say enter age of student 0 enter age of student 1 enter age of student 2 and so on and this for loop will do the work of uh, all these statements here in this example there are only six students there could be 100 students or a thousand students or the students in the entire city you know millions of students you don't want to be writing one line of code for each and every student you want to write a for loop so no matter how big the number of students are all we need to do is to change this number from 6 to 100 it will ask for 100 values obviously we don't have time to enter 100 values here so we are not going to do that so we will leave it to 6 okay what do we do next we have to compute the average how do we compute average we basically sum all those ages together and then we divide it by the sum uh, by by the total number of elements which is 6 okay so how do we compute the the entire sum so simply you know what do we need to do we need to basically let's see so we have six elements here right 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so what do we need to do we need to add this 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 so in other words we have to just access these numbers one more time when we were entering the values here we accessed all these numbers using this here we access them one more time and we basically keep adding them so what do we do we start with some variable called sum which will have this sum of all these numbers okay and then we'll set it to zero and then we put this into sum then add this number into sum then add this number into sum and then add in this number into sum and how do we do that of course very simple we use the for loop again because we have to access all those elements one more time just like we we accessed before so so what do we do for count is equal to count uh, zero count less than six count plus plus sum is equal to sum plus age of count whatever the current age value is okay so i think i am going out of uh, running out of time here so how about we continue this in the next video okay don't forget to watch it thank you so much